Okay, y'all, this is the point that I finished from that rock. <clears throat> and you can tell one, one side of the material is better than on the other side. But anyway, the, um, so I wanted to show you this at the end. I wanted to mention why the reduction was done like it was. Basically, what I was trying to show was a reduction in which the material, the tools, and the techniques were not great and not optimal for what was trying to be done, and then wanted to kind of do it anyway. So the rock was a river cobble that was tougher than most rock anybody would want to work raw. The, the main, the percussor was uh, a small and not very massive uh, one piece of a copper bus bar, but also was hard. And so when you hit hard rock with hard percussor, things tend not to go like they should as far as flake runs. You tend to get blown up divoting stuff and shorter runs than you might otherwise get. Um, and the way that you would normally try and attenuate that problem is to carefully isolate everything and repair the platforms great and do all sorts of things that I didn't do. So then, so then what I was doing was intentionally rushing and just playing things like they were without abrading and also Oh, actually, I was abrading. I was thinking of a different video. But I was abrading incorrectly, largely. You know, using exclusively a coarse abrader and then doing a lot of up and down kind of abrading where I'm putting vertical scratches in the edges and making them more likely to fail. Not doing a lot of cross grinding, not doing a lot of platform refinement at all. So basically, the, everything was shortcutted. But I knew that it wasn't going to work like my normal techniques knew, do. So what I did was I compensated was by hitting at steeper angles and not thinning as much initially as I reduced the width and everything and come on in. So you can use a lighter percussor and one that doesn't run flakes as well and just nibble off the, the edges and then come on in at steeper angles and wait until the very last minute to try and dump all the thickness with with uh, closer shots. So that's what I basically did. Got it smaller, brought it in, and then switched to the to the small indirect. But with the small indirect, I also wasn't doing things correctly because I wasn't really checking for birds that often uh, or looseness in the punch. I also um, was using a relatively small antler percussor that is shockier than if I'd gone big with wood or something like that because of, being, of wanting to put the force into the thing slower to get better flakes and less, less blow up and stuff. And on the edges, I wasn't turning the edges frequently or sufficiently and I wasn't um, getting all the old deltas off they were a little bit rolled and there was i was putting vertical scratches and everything with the raking down on the edge just with a coarse abrader and not using finer abraders and cross grinding and everything to try and, and make the platform stand up and so i had a fair number of failures i don't know if you saw all of those but if you go back and watch it in slower uh, speed you'll see numerous i don't know maybe 30 40 percent or more of the flakes were failing in that they were not running as far as they should have if they ran at all. But then some of them ran great. So it was just all dependent on how locked in I got with the, how lucky I was on, on the platform choice and how locked in I was on the on the shot and, and just, you know. But at any rate, the whole, the whole point of the thing is, well, two things. Number one, you don't have to have everything perfect to end up at the same spot as if you kind of had everything perfect. Because if you can get down to a pretty good preform 
and then start doing everything carefully, it doesn't really matter what you did before that if you didn't ruin the preform. So there's that. I mean, you can shortcut a lot. You can you can speed nap and do crazy crap and get away with a lot as long as at the end of the reduction you start taking your time and doing things more carefully. But then the the other side of that equation is just because you get a good, pretty good result does not mean necessarily that you were using the best techniques, the best tools, the best material, the best techniques. And therefore, that's the reason some people make it a very long time and get very expert at doing things in a manner that make it difficult for them to get the best results they could ever get because you can get results with with you know suboptimal type situations so just about everybody that i've seen that, that, that gets really 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 good they're they're inquisitive and they're experimental and they're and they're constantly thinking well what if what if i did this what if i change that what would happen and they're constantly tweaking and experimenting and everything and it seems like they they do some of that like almost lifelong kind of thing because I see people doing it that have napped a very, very, very long time. We're still making changes in, in how they do things. So anyway, uh, bye for now. Freeze crack.